everyone. Thanks for visiting my channel. If you are new, I'm so glad that you stopped by. My name is Carol and I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel, like and share my videos and follow me on social media. I will leave all the links in the description box below. So today we are going to make a delicious holiday or Christmas salad, however you want to call it. Um, this has a lot of yummy ingredients to it and the colors are just spot on for the season and it is totally delicious. Lots of great flavors going on. So the first thing I want to say is for this salad, I'm going to be using something we canned up called honeyed honey orange slices. Um, I did these about a week or so ago. So if you came along for me with me for that, we'll be using these. But if you do not are not a canner and you don't have these on your shelf, don't leave me because I'm going to show you how to make the salad using fresh oranges instead. But these are going to be fantastic for those of you who are a canner and you followed me for this recipe. You've been asking for ways to use them because they're so pretty and I did promise you a salad. So we are going to be using those in the salad today. And we're also gonna be using the honey part in our dressing. So if you have those, use them. If not, you can totally use a fresh orange. I like to use the navel oranges. These are really big. These were the extra large ones that I got at my grocery store this week, but you can use whatever orange that you prefer. All you're gonna do is slice off each end and then slice off the peeling and then you're going to cut it in whole slices about a quarter of an inch thick and then I like to quarter the slices so that it's just a bite of orange. I know some of, some variations of this salad have you just leave them whole and they make that the bed of the salad and then put the greens on top. I don't do mine that way. Um, I actually cut mine up so that they're bite size. So that's how I do it. Also, if you are using the fresh orange, you want to go ahead and give a little bit of the uh, a squeeze of the from the ends into your salad dressing to add a little bit of orange flavor. But for me, I have a couple of special things that I'm going to be using. Like I said, we're going to be using the honey orange slices. And then the other thing that I am going to be using that may be difficult for some of you to find, but you'll be able to replicate the flavor for the salad dressing. It is going to be a white balsamic based vinaigrette. I'm going to be using a special vinaigrette or special vinegar that I can get at my local, um, in my local town at a place called Olivina. And I will link it for you below because I do believe that they do shipping. And if you want to try this balsamic vinaigrette, I'm sure that they could ship it to you. It is so good, you guys, but it's called Honey Bell Orange. So it's a white balsamic vinegar that already has some orange flavor infused in it. So if you can find an orange infused white balsamic vinegar, I highly encourage you to use it here. But if you can't it's totally fine, just use regular white balsamic and give your orange a little bit of a squeeze into your vinaigrette. Uh, white balsamic is a really sweet vinegar and it's so delicious in this salad. So I'm gonna be using this. Again, I'll leave a link for you in case you wanna give it a go. The other thing that you're gonna need for the salad dressing is straight up olive oil or a salad oil of some sort. I'm gonna be using a good olive oil and then we just need a teaspoon of honey. I'm gonna be using a teaspoon of honey from our honey and oranges, but you can just use a little squeeze of honey from your honey pot, whatever type of honey that you like to use, and then just some salt and pepper. It's a really basic vinaigrette, but there is so much flavor in this salad, and it is so pretty. So in addition to those ingredients, we're gonna be using a bed of greens. That is totally your choice. Um, you can use a combination of greens. Today, I'm gonna to be using, a combination of spinach and arugula. Some variations of this salad are just arugula, or you could use just spinach. You can use romaine, whatever speaks to you, whatever you enjoy eating is what I would use, or a combination. You can, and then the other ingredients we're gonna need is some red onion, or oranges of course, and then the other ingredient that's a little bit different, and some of you may not be real familiar with it, fennel. And fennel is a an Italian vegetable, I guess. 
Um, they use it a lot in Italian cooking and it has kind of a licorice flavor to it and it is absolutely divine in the salad. Now the fronds and the bulb itself are edible, but for this salad, I just slice up the bulb. So it looks like this when after you slice it up and it tastes fantastic, adds great crunch and the color is really pretty in our salad. So I highly encourage you to use it if you're if you don't think you like fennel or you've never tried using it before, I encourage you to give it a try. It's really delicious in the salad. And then the other thing that we're going to be using is some pomegranate seeds. So you can buy your a whole pomegranate and seed it yourself, or you can buy, buy them already seeded in a little container. You can get a little container of just the seeds. But we're going to use those in our salad as well. So as you can tell, we have some beautiful colors going on here. Some All the colors of the season. We've got the white and we have the red from the pomegranate and the red onion. We've got the orange from the orange and the green from our salad greens. The last ingredient that you need is a nice cheese. For most variations of this salad, they use a nice Parmesan cheese. That's what I'm going to be using, but I think that a really nice sharp white cheddar would be really delicious here as well. So go with what speaks to you, but Parmesan is fantastic in this salad. So let's get started making our dressing. Okay, so to make your dressing, I uh, just want to say that a mason jar works really well for a, to make a vinaigrette dressing or any dressing really because you can put the lid on it and you can shake it up. So I'm going to measure my ingredients and put it in my pretty mason jar and then we're going to give it a shake and we're going to set it aside. So like I said, we are going to start with some delicious balsamic vinegar. Make sure it's white balsamic. That's what we're looking for here. I'm going to be using my Honey Bell Orange. Now, vinaigrettes can have different ratios. I like to use a one-to-one -one ratio in my salad dressing. Um, so I'm going to use equal parts vinegar to equal to the same amount of um, olive oil. So I'm going to be using a quarter of a cup of each. Then we're going to add a quarter of a cup of our olive oil. I go ahead and put that in my mason jar. If you do not have the orange flavored vinegar, I would give a little squeeze of fresh orange juice in here. A tablespoon or so is perfect. Also, if you did not, if you do not have the honey oranges on hand, just go ahead and use a teaspoon of regular honey, but I'm going to be using a teaspoon of the uh, liquid from our honey our honeyed oranges. We need a teaspoon of that just to add a tiny bit of sweetness and ramp up the flavor just a little bit. Then we're going to add some salt, some freshly ground salt. I'm using pink Himalayan salt. You could use sea salt, whatever appeals to you. And then a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. And of course, if you're making a lot of salad, you, you're welcome to double this. Or if you like a lot of salad dressing, I like my salads dressed very lightly. So um, this will be plenty for us, but you can double or triple the recipe. And then just give it a good shake and set it aside. Guys, we are all set to assemble our salad. Now I like to make one salad at a time because once you dress this, it's gonna get wilted. So however many salads that I need, I just, um, fill each bowl with each ingredient and then let everyone top their own. But if you wanted to make this in a large bowl and go ahead and dress it, if you're going to eat it right away, it's fine to do that too. But I'm going to make a salad for one. So we're going to start with your greens on the bottom. Then we are going to add some of our fennel. Nice, crunchy, beautiful fennel. And then we're going to add our red onions. Just a few slices, you don't need too many. It's pretty already, don't you think? And then if you're using fresh oranges, you would use your fresh orange pieces. But for me, I'm gonna be using our beautiful honey oranges that we canned up.
Look at those gorgeous colors going on. So pretty. And then we're going to use a few pomegranate seeds. Slightly sprinkle those on. See, isn't that pretty already? Now for our Parmesan cheese. Now you can grate or finely shred some, and I kind of like to do that because then it looks like snow on top of your salad. See how pretty that is? Looks like snow almost. Or you can take a vegetable peeler and you can do um, bigger chunks of Parmesan. Either way, it's totally delicious. Like I said, um, sharp white cheddar would work really well here also. And there is your beautiful salad. Then just give your dressing a nice little shake. Drizzle just a bit of it on your salad. So what do you think? Was that not just super easy to do and just so gorgeous? All those colors together are just absolutely stunning. If you follow me on Instagram, you got to see this a few weeks ago. I posted a picture of it when I made it. So good. So let's give it a taste. I've not made it yet with the oranges that we canned up. So we'll try that here. Uh, the last time I made it, I used fresh oranges, which is fantastic. But I have a feeling that our canned honey oranges are going to be even more delicious. So make sure you get a little bit of everything in your bite. Mm. Oh my goodness, you guys, that is like a flavor explosion in your mouth. Christmas party in your mouth it is so good. That orange is so it's pretty intense with the orange slices because when you can those, you leave the skin on. So you have a lot of flavor there. Fresh oranges, you're gonna have a little bit more of a mild flavor. And then you've got that nice creamy flavor from the Parmesan cheese, a little bit of crunch and a little bit of bite from your pomegranates. And then a little bit of punch from the fennel and the onion, absolutely delicious together. It is fantastic. And like I said, we eat with our eyes first and it is just as pretty as it is tasty. So I hope that you will give it a try. Super simple stuff. I will leave a link for the uh, canning up the oranges for you up here and in the, the description box. I will also leave a link to Olivina if you want to try the Honey Bell orange. I guess I put it away. The Honey Bell orange uh, vinegar, balsamic vinegar is fantastic. But Make sure you get your hands on some really good white balsamic vinegar. There is nothing like it. So fantastic. So give it a try, you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the holiday season. I know it's so different than what we're used to, and many of you are struggling, and um, my prayers go out to you, and just know that you are in my thoughts, in my prayers, and hopefully we will all get through this and find um, some light at the end of the tunnel, right? So anyway, enjoy the holidays, guys. I've got lots of more fun things coming up for you, so stay tuned. Take care, and I will see you next time.